There are lots of different ways to diffuse your curly hair and today I'm going to show you my top tips for diffusing and I'm also going to share with you a little confession. Hey guys welcome back to my channel. As I said today we're talking all about diffusing. There are lots of different ways that you can diffuse your hair so I'm going to just show you the way that I tend to diffuse my hair, talk about the different methods of diffusing and what different methods of diffusing actually accomplish for your curls. This was entirely the Curlsmith strength range that I used. I used the Core Strength Shampoo, the Multitasking Conditioner, the Volume Foam at my roots, some of the Protein Cream as a leave-in and I finished it with the, with the Shape Up Aqua Gel. We're going to get right into the demonstration. I'm going to show you the entire diffusing process. Some parts might be sped up, but I am going to show you everything start to finish. I'm not going to cut anything out at all so you can see the full diffusing process. I obviously use the Dyson and the Dyson diffuser that comes with it, but the same techniques and tips and tricks work for any diffuser that you happen to use. Okay, so here's my Dyson and all the attachments are magnetic, which is very handy. I always start diffusing by lifting my roots like this, with my fingers a bit like a wide tooth comb, lifting my hair away from my scalp, and I always diffuse my roots first. The reason for this is if you don't, then the weight of the water in your hair can sort of weigh down your roots and make them flat, and um, you're really not going to get great volume if, if your hair is weighing it down. So by drying the roots first, you can definitely get some more root volume. Now what this is, is this method of diffusing, it's called hover diffusing and you're just sort of pointing the diffuser, the dryer at your hair and hovering it over the hair rather than cupping the hair in the diffuser. Um, so I will almost completely dry my roots before I start on the length, just lifting the hair um, all the way around and turning over so that I can get that bit at the back as well using my hands just to lift the hair as I need to for volume. And I sometimes just sort of lift the hair away so that the, the diffuser can get into the underneath sections. Um, if I lift my hair up, it, it get, makes it a little bit easier to get the underneath sections dry. So now I'm starting to cup the hair in my diffuser. And when I'm cupping the hair in my diffuser, I don't want to be moving the diffuser about too much and too often. I tend to cup it and leave it there for a few seconds before moving on to the next section. Now, here's my confession for you guys. When I'm doing this, the first part of my diffusing, so the hovering, and the first little while when I am using the diffuser to cut my hair, cut my hair, not cut, it actually, I have the power on full, and I actually have the heat on high. Now this is the point here, you can see where I'm turning the heat down now. Now, some people might say that that is breaking one of the curly rules that you're supposed to diffuse your hair on cold or low heat. But actually, I find that using a higher heat at the start of the diffusing process helps with shrinkage. It massively speeds up dry time and um, I don't find it causes too many issues for my hair at all. So if you're going to try this, then just keep an eye on your hair and see, see how your hair reacts. Um, make sure that you're not noticing you know, a lot of dryness or split ends or anything. I don't notice any damage to my hair when I do this. Um, and after I show you this diffusing tutorial, at the end of the video, I'm going to show you something else that I use, which makes sure that my hair doesn't sustain any damage from doing this if I ever break any of the curly rules. So I just want to talk a little bit about those different types of diffusing that I have already shown you. So the hover diffusing and then the cupping diffusing and what they can be used for. So if you have a tight curl pattern and you're really keen to retain your length and not have very much curl shrinkage, then hover diffusing is going to be um, a really great one for you. You might not want to cup your curls in the diffuser at all if you're trying to retain length and avoid shrinkage. If you have a looser curl pattern like me, you might prefer to do more of the cupping of the hair in the diffuser because that's going to actually increase the shrinkage and uh, possibly make your curls really tighten up and look more curly. So it all depends on what you want. Uh, when you're diffusing, um, what your goals are. Uh, but th that's what those two different types of diffusing will do for your curl pattern. So that diffusing process was today and these are my results. And it's looking good. I've got decent volume and also definition. And as I already mentioned, I do sometimes like to diffuse using 
high heat. I absolutely never diffuse on cold. Um, and I have heard some people say that you must diffuse, you must only use cold air on your curls, like it's some sort of rule. But I have to say, I have never done that. I've always used medium, low to medium heat. But these days, sometimes I even do use high heat if I'm in a big rush. But it works for me as long as I'm careful with my hair and the products that I use, I don't find it has any lasting negative effects. And one of the ways that I do like to sort of make sure that my hair is still healthy while doing that is by using the, the Bond Curl Rehab Salve. And I did use that today as well before I washed my hair. So it's a pre-wash bond building treatment. You've seen me talk about it before. It's an absolute powerhouse. It's amazing. Also contains protein. So using this along with the, the rest of the protein line that I showed you, um, it really strengthens my hair. And so if I am doing some of the things that, you know, we think, oh, is that the best thing for your curls? You know that this is going to help to repair your hair from the inside out and, and sort of um, undo any damage and minimize any damage to your hair. If you want to try any of the Curlsmith products, you can use my code Marisa10, which I will put in the description box with a link as well. So I hope you find those diffusing tips helpful today and I will see you guys soon. Bye.